and uh, we are live. Great. Hello, guys. welcome Hi, to the today. Hi, Amit. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you, Mike? Everybody can say hi if they want to open their camera or something. You are most welcome to do it. So look, uh, I mean, I'm pretty well, and actually, I'm so excited to tell about uh, today's topic because yes. today we plan to discuss how to get your first five boomerang clients just during 14 days your free trial. Hi, Cheat. Hi, Alex. Hi, Marcel. Hi, Thanks for joining us, guys. Beautiful. Hi, I think we, we, I think we can. Uh, Around the small talk for a couple of minutes to wait yes. other people. Today we have a lot of registrants. I 66, 66 people really sign up for this webinar. It's our record uh, for mm -hmm. the last three months, and uh, we're gonna hit 100 participants <laughs> next webinars. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it's important. It's it works Hi, like a fuel for our motivation, guys. Hi, Sarah Sarunan. I got okay. So, uh, Amit, do you have any questions, maybe thoughts about you, our agenda for today? I webinar? think yes, yes, yes. I have a lot of questions, but the first question is obviously everybody wants to know because once they, you know, get into the new SaaS product how they are going to sell it, who are their first three customers they are going to, you know, go first, all in for that. So that yeah. will be my, I think everybody thinks about the same thing. Once they have purchased the product, it's very necessary to onboard somebody and start your, you know, monthly recurring revenue. Even if you give the trial to them, that's okay. But again, onboarding somebody, it's very important in the very initial stage that motivates you for the, uh, for the business more. So, that is the first question. Yeah, of course I agree. And uh, this is only uh, this is the only in one hand. In other hand, you you need to be you want to be confident that you can sell this yeah. stuff. You want to be confident that you can scale this stuff, and you want to be confident that that is really needed thing for your potential prospects or clients. And uh, you know, uh, what's the main reason uh, for this webinar? What the main idea that I want to discuss? I want to discuss that uh, you know. Uh, it's achievable to start operating profitable with Boomerangme just even in your trial period, just in even for first 14 days. Uh, we have a lot of, a lot of uh, options. We have a lot of uh, features inside the product, but it's this is not important. Important on the first initial stage, it's a mindset and your approach, how you plan to onboard the clients. And uh, actually on today's webinar, I want to explain you my own experience because uh, three years ago yeah. i I've, I've been created this product and start selling this this tool uh, from the scratch from the ground from zero clients and right now we achieve a couple of thousand paid and uh, thirty thousand registered users in total across the world from 63 countries great numbers uh it's not enough for me of course uh, i want more but uh it's it's not too bad for first three years for this product i'm i'm satisfied so, um, guys, I want to start from the small introduction um, and tell you about who I am. I am Mike Inishev. I'm CEO and founder of Boomerang Me. And uh, me and my team, we are building easy to use loyalty solution for local businesses. And we're selling this tool through the digital marketing agencies with the white label solution and reseller option. It means any small or medium sized digital agency can easily join our product. Uh, trying for a free trial during classical 14 days, completely white label this solution, even connect the domain name, set up branding, appearance, logo, and even connect your payment gateway. It can be Stripe or PayPal. You can set up your pricing. You can choose your currency and uh, we do not limit the minimal and maximal pricing for reselling. It means you can resell this tool for one box or even for a free per month to your clients, or even you can resell it for 1000 bucks per one month. It's an uh, open opportunity to you. Uh, next one. So uh, again, I, uh, I told you that I want to start from my uh, expertise and from my, my personal experience. So look, uh, the most important thing is uh, to onboard the first five clients. And uh, Michael Seibel, it's a CEO and uh, co-founder of Y Combinator. He told actually uh, that you need to do 
unrepeatable things on your first initial sales stage. What it means? It means uh, you can even uh, go door to door by your street and uh, talking with uh, local business owners about to join on free trial on this product. You can take the phone and make the calls. Uh, you can send the personal messages uh, in uh, social media, in uh, email and anything else. You know, uh, don't afraid uh, and please no doubt to making unrepeatable things because the first goal to get the first five clients is to understand how to sell this stuff right you need to understand the whole sales process from the first call touch and to the money on your bank account right and right after that you understand the main sales points you understand the milestones and right after that you can just uh, even hire a team to repeat your manual steps and uh, scale your sales let me please tell you about the beautiful and uh, you know advantages of this product uh, when you're selling your digital services in your digital agency usually it's a website creation marketing campaigns support and other things usually your services first of all are not unique you are working and operating with the same approach like a hundred or thousand digital agencies in your country, in your region. And uh, it's, it's so competitive market, right? And right. second thing, uh, it's a not a scalable business because you can onboard 10, you can onboard 50, you can onboard 100 clients. But with the small team, it's even impossible to onboard 1,000 clients because mostly your clients want to get your in-person in the projects it's some kind of personal attachment with your top clients you know it's impossible to scale uh, the number of clients without your personal attachment and without your personal contribution and this is why our product is beautiful to sell because you can sell this stuff without your personal attachment and contribution you can just hire the support team and sales team and just run this product from the ground to the thousand literally clients like we did it right now on this stage and uh, let me please tell you next. So, uh, first of all, my first suggestion, when you start thinking to selling this product or maybe you already start to sell this product, my highly recommendation here is to define your desired niche when you plan to operate, where you plan to operate. So, for example, maybe you have some experience to work with restaurants. Beautiful and really, really huge niche with uh, a lot of, I think, millions of millions locations and businesses there. You, you can no doubting uh, about the competition on this market because it's too many. It's too many restaurants. It's like a number of plankton in the ocean. You know who count these numbers, right? Or maybe you have uh, some experience with uh, with lawyers. Maybe you have some experience with. Uh, beauty salons or spas just choose your perfect niche when you where you plan to sell sell and where you plan to scaling because you know um uh, i think specialization and uh, nailing the niche it's the most important thing on your first initial stage what i want to tell you about from point of view about our product um we have a true three grid fits with three different niches first of all we have a beautiful fit with food and beverage segment, coffee shops, restaurants, uh, bars, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Next one, it's uh, beauty salons, beauty niche, beauty salon owners, wax salons, nail polish salons, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And third one, it's uh, street retail. It can be a fashion and apparel. It can be accessories, bags, shoes, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera also. So, you can choose one of them. Maybe you want to operate with them all from the scratch it's your decision it's your way why not but my recommendation is to try to find your niche where you have an expertise to start scaling even better and even faster next one uh, after you choosing your uh, segment of clients for example it can be a food and beverage mostly restaurants and coffee shop okay uh, you can learn a little bit information from marketing reports about the top 10 loyalty mechanics for your chosen niche. For example, top 10 loyalty mechanics for restaurants and coffee shops. Or even you can just watch our webinar reply from this summer on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to understand about our new updates on the YouTube channel. And just understand the, what the best uh, mechanics you can offer to your prospects, to your potential clients, right? 
Uh, next one, you need to understand your ideal customer profile. You need to understand who exactly uh, responsible to make decision and purchase your tool, right, for the restaurant. For the small restaurants, it even can be a restaurant owner, for example. For small, for medium-sized restaurants, it can be, uh, for example, marketer manager, right? For a franchise chain with 10, 12, 15, 20 plus locations under one brand, obviously it uh, would be a marketing manager who is responsible to talk about the loyalty inside the business, inside the restaurant chain, right? You need to uh, really thoroughly understand your ideal customer profile and uh, make the list of your prospects, like in cold outreach right now. Next one, when you completely understand your ideal customer profile, you need to start getting them aboard, right? And uh, what you can do, my first recommendation, and uh, I think it's obvious, start if, if you already have a digital agency, if you already provide some marketing services to your clients, maybe you have some clients in, uh, who are operating like a local businesses in your area, right? The most convenient and most easiest way is just upsell your existing clients with your new white label loyalty solution, right? You already understand the niche. You already understand their goals. You already have some kind of relationships with your client, right? You provide some services to them already. And you can just take the phone, make a call and say, hey, right now we are ready to offer you the beautiful loyalty solution for your business based on digital loyalty cards for Apple Vault and Google Play. We do not require integration. We do not require installation native apps and blah, blah, blah. You know how to do it. You can use our presentations that are available on uh, our website and in our knowledge base. You can just copy and paste uh, the Google Slides, change Boomerang Membrane to your own, and you're all set. You can send these promo materials to your potential clients and start discussion with them, right? But if you're just running the new business, if you do not have a client on first initial stage, right, um, you can start to reach out. And uh, here is my tips and tricks. Uh, first of all, uh, what you can imagine to do from the scratch, door-to-door uh, -door sales, right? You can uh, move in to the street and start talking with your clients, with your pro potential clients and trying to sell this stuff to them. It's a not working case. I highly do not recommend to do that because, you know, uh, when you're trying to onboard restaurants, for example, right? Uh, when you visit in the restaurant, <laughs> just uh, forget about that you can meet the, the owner of this restaurant. Obviously, owners uh, are not sitting in their restaurant for, for a full time, right? They're just visiting one times per week, maybe, may, may, maybe, maybe rare, right? And so, um, obviously, you can uh, just meet the managers in the restaurant and they are not responsible to talk about the marketing and not responsible to talk about the loyalty program in total. It's just wasting your time. But what you can do, what you can understand from them, you can just um, walk in around your streets and understand what the promotions they already have because uh, you can be confident and sure that 80% of your prospects already have some kind of loyalty program. It can be printed punch cards, it can be flyers, it can be plastic discount cards, it can be um, native loyalty applications, aggregators, and something like that. You know, it's maybe they have implemented uh, native uh, loyalty application in their point of sale system, right? You can just start the research walking around your streets and trying to understand the prospects. But again, uh, Please do not expect that you get sales from the door to door walking and trying to get the customers. <laughs> Next thing, I'm start from the not working cases. Net things, it's uh, cold calls. Cold calls, it's a not beautiful way to get the first clients on board because, you know, again, when you're trying to call in a beauty salon, in a restaurant, in spa, in clinic, in dental, everywhere, you will get. Um, answer you will get on the phone the manager from their side on the reception right manager are not managers are not responsible to talk about the marketing the main goal that you can achieve you can just ask the right point of contact with 
them you can uh, continue this conversation after this call right it's 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 a top goal that you can achieve when you're trying to make cold calling not working way do not recommend to waste your time it's not working on the initial stage next thing what i highly do not recommend to do it's to start mass mailing to your prospects is it is you can easily download the prospect base right you can scrape this data from the web you can download or maybe order this uh, database from fever or any other uh, freelance platforms it's 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 a, it's a couple of bucks it's not a big deal but uh, you do not know what you want to sell you do not have a real use cases case studies testimonials it's even impossible to sell something in the mass mailing from the scratch, right? Next thing that I highly recommend. I, I not... would like to interrupt you. Uh, I think sure. it's very important to know the platform that you are about to sell. Spend time with, in it. Try to run your promotion for a week or so. Even it is not for the client, just for your regular, you know, to get the understanding, deep understanding about what you can do with the system. Once you're sure about it, then, you know, it will be your mind how to sell it. Most of the, you know, the people, the agencies who just purchase it, maybe, you know, they don't even watch the videos. And that is very important. Right now, we have such a good knowledge base. We are providing everything in that. Just spend your time, spend two, three hours, you know, understanding the product and play around. And then you will understand how to, you know, reach out to the client and then you can make your next move. Yeah, for sure. And uh, let me please uh, go ahead with the next thing. What I highly recommend do not to do is uh, to run the paid ads from the first, from the day one. You know, again, <laughs> you, you do not know um, your ideal customer profile. You do not know what the feedback you can get. Obviously, in this case, uh, you can just uh, spend your money and spend your time. My high recommendation here is to save this time and money and reinvest this money in the future when you get first five clients on board and uh, when you can collect at least a couple of case studies and testimonials from them. From this stage, you start promoting the case study instead of the service because you know, no one from your clients want to have another tool in their toolbox. They, have a, they want to have a solution. They want to have an outcome from you. And they, with interesting, we're looking for beautiful case studies and the use cases, right? Share the use cases, share the stories, share success stories. Very but important. first of all, you need to have this use, this, this use cases and stories on your board under mm -hmm. your brand, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the last one, it's, uh, it's not properly way to reach out to customers. It's to running offline ads. Just oh. renting billboards, placing information regarding your beautiful loyalty tool, it's not working case. And this is the five things what I highly do not recommend to do on the first, even the forever, even the future. I do not recommend to do that because uh, we, we try all of them. I believe uh, excluding the offline as because I do, I'm in digital space for 15 years. I don't believe in any offline advertising here. But so... Um, What's working? What's working and uh, what's worked in our hands uh, from the day one? Manual research and uh, manual prospecting uh, when you're trying to get new customers. Let me please show you the use case just in my hands. Please let me share my screen and show what you can do. So do you see my screen, Amit? All is good? Yeah, all fine. Beautiful. So look, uh, for example, uh, I, I'm in uh, Los Angeles and I want to work with the restaurants. I can open the Google Maps and uh, fill the request restaurants uh, near Los Angeles area. And here I can see the list of the restaurants and I can uh, open their websites and uh, just trying to understand maybe they already have some loyalty program. If they have something, they are usually place this information on their website, right? We can open their website and uh, running small investigation about this business, right? Just play it in life, right? It's we important. open at the website. We see the information. It's a seafood restaurant. 
House of Operation, other restaurants, careers, gift cards. Okay, we know they already have some gift cards. Obviously, what we can do, we can digitize their printed gift cards to digital ones. Okay, they already have some e-gift cards. We can connect with them and add them additional features to their existing e-gift cards, right? And they also have um, physical gift cards. We can suggest them to avoid any physical gift cards and save the time and save the money and send just digital ones. And I do not see any information regarding the loyalty program here, right? It means we can talk with uh, their manager or with their owner regarding the, regarding the loyalty program for them, you know. Because, you know, any restaurant really depending on repeated visits and uh, repeat customers. This is how can uh, you communicate with them and start talking. Next one, what you can do, you prepare a list, for example, of uh, 50 restaurants around you and uh, you already did your investigation, understand who of them already have loyalty program, who are not. And uh, what you can do next, you can um, open LinkedIn and trying to find the managers and marketing managers who are operating in those restaurants, right? And right after that, my recommendation here is to create a sub account for them and uh, make some preparations between you start reaching out to your prospects. Let me please share my screen and show you the example. So look, uh, we are on the dashboard. We can open agency section, sub accounts, and uh, create sub accounts for Water Grill. Company name, the phone number from the Google Maps, the email uh, from the Maps, and uh, some kind of password just to create the test account. Uh, you can choose the plan, you can choose the trial period and create, right? Sub account is created. Next one, you can open this sub account and uh, authorize as this sub account. Open the card section and uh, create the first just like sample card that you can send to your prospect, even in LinkedIn, for example. We can open the fish restaurant template. We already have the same in our product. And uh, you can create, for example, the stamp card for your prospect with the name, with the information from their website, with the personal data, and uh, with some kind of reward it's just, it, it will be dummy reward, you know, it will be just a reward, for example. But again, also, I highly recommend to a little bit customize the design. You can take the appearance from their website, colors, text, and uh, some images from their website, put their images on the card in the design section, save and preview. Install this card on your device and uh, make the screenshot from your real device. And what you can do next, after that, you can start reach out in LinkedIn to your client and say, hey, I already create loyalty card for your business. Look how, it, let's see how it looks like. With your Perfect. brand, with your logo. And also you can send the installation link to install, right? Great, your great. prospect, it, it's a great um, A catcher. It's a great door opener for your cold outreach and for, for your first steps with the first clients because you know uh, when i'm working in uh, water grill when i'm marketing manager i see the new message from some who who send me loyalty card with my brand with my company name with my already appearance looks like like my own loyalty card and it's interesting what the card what's the source of this card how it works what is that actually in general right and after that you start getting the questions from the clients and you can continue this conversation and just book a meeting and you can do all these things remotely. You do not need to waste your time and walking around and trying to meet in person. It's not needed in our days. Uh, it's just enough to set up the meeting in Zoom, in Google Meet and meet with your prospect online for 30 minutes to talk about the possibilities and opportunities to work with you, right? So 
This is how it works. For Go High Level users, we have most convenient and more beautiful way how you can onboard your first clients. Because if you already onboard, let's say three, five, 10 clients in your Go High Level account, you even just can put the loyalty button in your left side vertical menu and just show this button to your sub accounts. It means every client who will log in into your, in your, into your white label Go High Level dashboard will see your loyalty button be curious what is that push the button authorize with oof if the authorization just in one click and uh, after that your client will be automatically signed up for 14 days free trial and you will get the email from boomerangmi that you have a new free trial in your agency plan you can st you can communicate with your client discuss about the functionality about the values outcomes and just help them onboard them and charge for onboarding as well of course this is how it works. Next one. Um, let me please tell you about the sales. I, I think we have a couple of questions. Yes, Amit? I think uh, Cathy is asking with that pro prospecting strategy, can Boomerang me handle, handle the onboarding for clients? Yes, uh, this is uh, will be discussed <laughs> a little bit after five minutes. Like, mm -hmm. thanks for your audience, okay? It's in my roadmap, in my plan for this webinar. I just want to ask, I just want to answer the main question from the chat. And uh, I see that all is clear, I believe. All is good. Guys, I uh, want to ask you, what do you think about this approach? What do you think about the pros, pros and cons of, uh, of the approach that we use in our sales personally? Sounds simple, Alex says. Yes, it's, it's, it's a simple, it's a simple. You know, uh, we build this product based on three easiest to use approach. It should be easiest to use on the, all three levels. For end user, for cult holder who install loyalty cards, it should be easiest to install, right? Just scan the QR code, fill your first name, last name, phone number, and bump, you already onboard in loyalty program. Just three, four types on your touch screen, it's enough to be onboarded, right? Next one, next level, next layer. It should be easiest to use to business owner, right? Business owner can create by himself or maybe with your help loyalty program just in 15 minutes. We do not require native integration with third parties like point of sale or CRM system. It means it can be created, completely yeah. set up and implemented. Happens, in uh, yeah, let me tell you one thing. What happens, sure. Mike, in the very initial phase, everybody wants to have, you know, they ask, you know, integration with POS, automating the whole process. But somehow, I think it's very simple to onboard this way on the very initial stage. And later on, maybe after two, three months, when you are too much into the system, you know everything, you can go with that approach with the POS and everything. In the very initial, we want you to stay standalone. Yeah, it's my, it's my actually basic recommendation for all your new clients because uh, why it works pretty well. Obviously, all your clients uh, want to automate anything that they, that they can, right? To avoid any yeah. manual steps, any mistakes, any problems, by the ways. It's understandable and reasonable, of course. But when you just implementing new tool, you need to iterate a lot on the first initial stage because you do not absolutely confident that you choose the right direction, the right strategy for the loyalty program. You do not absolutely confident that it will be worked and uh, accepted by the customers, by the visitors of this business, right? And uh, you just running some pilot. Let's sell this product like a pilot for the first three months as a standalone. And uh, you can tell to your customers that we wanted to iterate a lot to find the right approach and right way and right rules and terms and condition for your loyalty program to achieve the, the best goals the best results and best numbers in your loyalty program because you can run the first promotion from the from the day one and see the worst numbers in your statistics after two weeks. What you can do, if you already integrated, you need to remake and uh, reimagine your integration, reintegrate again. If you're running standalone, you just can delete this card, right? Create the new yeah. card, change the rules with existing cards and just iterate and... Uh, Polish your process, polish your marketing campaign results and uh, 
get better results for your clients. It's it's impossible. And after two, three months, usually your client stop asking you any questions by the platform because all start working absolutely clear and uh, seamlessly for your client. And uh, two options here. First of all, if they are satisfied and uh, ready to work standalone, just keep playing like you're playing right now. If they still want to make integration with their point of sale, you can upsell your client to just automate your existing made and working workflow, right? You can hire a developer. You can ask us to help you with any API documentation and other integration things. And obviously, you should charge your client to make this integration happen. Right now, we're building integration with the most popular point of sales, mostly in North America market, Toast, Clover, Square, Shopify, and et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, it's impossible to make integration with all point of sales around the world because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thousands of brands, thousands of systems. And uh, you can upsell your client. It will be your revenue stream when you're getting money for making these integrations. And uh, we will be close to you. We will be here to support you if any questions, answer all the points and help to get these, to make this integration happen, actually. This is how it works. Standalone, beautiful way. Let me please finish my, uh, my approach by easiest to use. We talked about the easiest to use on customer site, on customer layer, easiest to use on business layer, and it should be easiest to use to sell. And right now I just described why it's easiest to sell for you because it's not needed integration on the first stage. It's not need to invest uh, one, two weeks for implementation. You can onboard your client even day by day. Today you got a meeting, Tomorrow, you start implementing loyalty card and start issuing loyalty cards. And this exactly allows you to get the money up front during the first 14 days. Because we already did the loyalty card for Water Grill. Tomorrow, you can set up the meeting with them. And after tomorrow, you can start issuing loyalty cards. And look, this is important thing. When you issue at least 30, 30 free zero loyalty cards for your potential client, you can expect the payment with 100% of with 100 of, um, of this situation, you know, because if you already issued 30 loyalty cards, 30 loyalty clients already have positive bonus balance, the, there is no, 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 no make sense to cancel this subscription and cancel these relationships with 30 loyal and regular clients, right? They make sense. Abe asking in the chat, can we create a demo card from GoHead Level? Yes, of course, you can do that. You can just open the sub account. You can onboard your client automatically as a sub account. And you can make all the settings from your GoHead Level one window, right? You do, not, you do not need to open the second tab for Boomerang. You can operate just in one, in one window. Thanks for the question. I voted your question already. So let me please go ahead. Uh, to the next steps. Uh, let's talk about the sales methods. Actually, we tried at least a 10, but I uh, would love to tell you about two beautiful and uh, really successful resultative sales methods that we use right now in terms of working with agencies, with regular customers, with uh, SMBs and etc. etc. around the world. So um, First of all, and I highly recommend to start with this sales approach from the day one, it's to offer your service and trying to charge money upfront for annual plan. To get more money upfront, to be profitable from the day one, to be able to pay for Boomerang Me subscription upfront for a year, of course, to, to forget about the payments for the next 12 months, for example, and get the discount because, you know, if you pay it month to month, it will cost you 100%. If you pay for annual upfront to our service, you can get the 50% discount by default. It's our dis default discount that we provide to any of our clients. It's, it's the cheapest way to you, it's just saving the money. What you can do, for example, if you uh, understand this webinar, if you start using these recommendation and suggestions from tomorrow, you can convert first five clients during your 14 days real trial period. Let's imagine what you can get. For example, if you just repeat our pricing from our website and start selling this stuff for around 100 bucks per month.
per each client. It means it will be cost like $1,000 per year if you get money up front from your client. You can get 5,000 bucks during 14 days, invest 1.5K for Boomerang Me, and uh, you're profitable from the trial period. 3.5,000, it's your profit margin from the first two weeks. This is how it should be works. And this is actually why we run this webinar and uh, discussing with you the sales strategies. Let's continue about this sales strategy again. Uh, the main important thing here is to get money for annual plan up front and what you, how you can get it, how you can do that. So first of all, when you're talking, when you continue your uh, discussion with uh, potential prospect from Butter Grill, you can say, hey, look, uh, I can offer you the beautiful and unique offer right now. I can offer you the free service setup and uh, two month close support even in chat, even by the phone, even by the mail, will be included in your plan if you pay for annual upfront. What do you think about that? If you pay month to month, I, I, I will charge you additional 200 or 300 for onboarding per month, right? It will be your value in this case because it's worth it. You will invest your time, you will contribute, you will work with the client on the first initial stage Client usually ask a lot of questions regarding strategies, regarding how it works, how to install loyalty cards in Apple Vault and Google Play, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you, you, can expect, you can expect that you need to invest at least uh, from 30 to 40 hours for every client onboarding. Just, uh, just, just, just make your math in your head and you can understand what the money can cost, right, for the client. But for the first five clients, you can offer the free onboarding and free support for two months. And uh, you can show that uh, it, in general, in regular case, it will cost you around 200 per month. It means four to 500. You can save. And also you will save 50% from regular price if you paid annual one. In this case, you will save 1.5K bucks if you paid annual one. Great deal. Makes sense, right? Moreover, how you can um, make your client confident and make your deal like a no-brainer, you can offer 30 days refund without any questions, right? Because during the first 30 days, your client will completely understand how it works and uh, feel the values and feel the outcome from the day one if you start implementing this product immediately to their business, right? So if you offer one year payment upfront if you offer 30 days money back period without any question asking it's a no-brainer deal your client just need to pay you from one to two thousand per year and uh, have a first 30 days with the white glove service from your side absolutely for free to try this product it, it's it's a it's a it's a no-brainer deal it's a no headache deal because client do not need to contribute a lot in this stage Client just need to connect with you and uh, discuss the loyalty strategy, marketing strategy, card design, and that's all. It usually takes around one hour of their time, not more. It's a great deal. It's a great digital loyalty program. Invest one hour, a couple of thousand bucks, and forget about that. And get the white glove service from agency who contributing, who working day by day and help me to get to achieve the great numbers with my loyalty program, right? So what can be included, my suggestion, what you can include in your uh, free and boarding package for your first, again, it's just for your five clients. You do not need to do it forever just to get your first five clients. I highly recommend to set up the first session, like a marketing session to define the marketing strategy with your client, understand the terms and conditions and rule for loyalty program. Uh, you can discuss... Uh, top 10 loyalty mechanics that usually used by in this niche. For example, if we're talking about the restaurants, you can read a couple of articles. You can uh, watch what competitors are doing right now in their businesses and just suggest a couple of ideas to your client and uh, get the feedback to understand what the fit or what's not fit for, for them, right? Next one, you make the settings. You just need to invest a couple of hours to make all the settings happen because, you know, our service, again, is easy to set up. You do not need to make integration. You do not need to be a tech guy. You just can download all information like logotype, 
address, colors, and other things from their website and put all this data into the card, set up discussed loyalty strategy for this card and uh, finish all the settings in a couple of hours. Next call, I suggest to set up like onboarding call. You can um, show and highly recommend to record this meeting, run the ball crow around the account for your client and see how it works. This is your card. This is your dashboard. This is your statistics. Here you can send the email mailings, SMS mailings. Yes, we already add SMS and email mailings in our product. It's just our release from this week. A little bit announcements, highlight. And uh, you can send a limited number of free push notifications to your clients. And I already set up some kind of automations for your clients. Feedback request, next visit reminder, birthday congratulations, already, already did, already set up. Your customers will receive automated push notifications automatically without any problems, without any manual work. Next one, uh, you can design and uh, prepare marketing materials that your client can uh, just place in the business, in the local restaurant. For example, we automatically generate the QR code with uh, promotional materials. Let me please show you where you can get this information into the dashboard. Let's get him back to the card. We already create this sample card for our client. And just activate this card template and push the button download PDF here, or even open the card and push download button here. What you can see, you can see that we automatically generate some sample of the promotional materials prepared for A4 or maybe A5 format. When you upload your logo, when you fill your colors, this logo will be appeared here. Colors will be appeared here. Text color will be appeared here. And this is the main QR code. What you can do, you can operate with this template and uh, just put this file into the printer and place in the location. Or even you can download this PDF like a sample and a little bit redesign and create more, you know, unique and uh, you, you provide the white glove service. You can you can create the unique promotional materials for your clients. And uh, usually our clients really love to print not only the table tents, but also print the circle printed stickers and stick the stickers on the tables, on the doors, on the windows, who customers who walk in around the restaurant, but do not plan to visit restaurant today. What they can do, they can just see the offer on the window or maybe on the door scan this QR code, install the card for the future to visit this restaurant next time. And you can create the coupon card for the first time clients and place this QR code on the door of these restaurants for all customers who walk in the room. With, for example, uh, with the free incentives for the first time client, it can be free cup of coffee, it can be 20% uh, off coupon for the first visit or something like that. You can promote even on the door. And again, uh, why it's important? Uh, why it's important to do all these things properly? Because if you properly set up and onboard your client, you will receive the great results from the day one after implementation. Highly recommend to use this guideline as a step-by-step -step workflow to onboard your client. Next one: after you place promotional materials, you can make. Uh, SMS or email card delivery to all card holders. Obviously, a lot of your clients already have their customer bases anywhere. It can be customer base uploaded in SMS uh, getaway service. For example, it can be Twilio. It can be it can be Go High Level, of course. It can be, um, for example, CRM system, maybe a point of sale system. What you can do after you create a loyalty card and place promotion promotional materials. You can get from your client the customer base list in XLS format. Import this customer base in Boomerang Me. Let me show you where you can do that. In the customer base, you can download the import template in XLS format. You can fill this file and import this file back with some number of clients. I already prepare my sample and let me please import my file here. Import success. Two customers already imported, right? What we can do, we can easily issue loyalty card for this client 
we've created template that we created a couple of minutes ago. Card already issued, but uh, we didn't deliver this card to the customers, right? What you can do next, you can run the mailings. Create a mailing. Card delivery. Choose the segment of these customers. I didn't finish this. Um, I, I need to create the segment for this, uh, but right now I will skip this information. I, I, I set up for all customers because, you know, I just imported them all and uh, this is the blank account right now. Message subject, please install your loyalty card and uh, your message, your loyalty card. Installment link. Sorry. And uh, place your card installment link here. And uh, you're ready to create a mailing and send this email to your customers and SMS as well. I see the errors because I need to uh, configure my account. I need to connect with Twilio account and I need to connect with Mailgun. What you can do, you can connect with the client's account or even if they do not have accounts in Twilio and Megal, you can connect with your own and just upsell your client to SMS and email mailings. And also, if you go high level user, you can easily send the card delivery using go high level and our loyalty snapshot that we already publish it on our website. With ready-made automation, just import the clients in your go high level account and uh, we automatically run this automation and send all the cards using Go High Level internal SMS and email mailings. This is how it works. So next one, what we did. In, at this stage, we already create loyalty card, define marketing strategy, uh, place promotional materials inside the location and uh, send mailing for all customer base with the card installment link for your local business client, right? Next one you need to set up the automations for push notifications to get more results from your marketing strategy and uh, from your um, loyalty program. You know, where you can do that, please let me show my screen again. You can open the push notification section again and push automation button. Fish restaurant, for example. So look, here you can fill the message for the feedback form. Uh, thanks for the visit, please rate your visit and use the smile. For example, stars in the eyes, right? You can send this feedback request after one hour after each transaction by this card for each card holder, of course, right? Next one, uh, next visit reminder, I usually recommend to send after 28 days after the last visit with the message like, we miss you. You can, of course, customize these messages for your customers to be unique and interesting. And birthday congratulations, of course, if you work in with restaurants, usually your customers, usually every people on the world thinking about, about before the five, three days before the birthday, what we're doing, we're thinking about where we plan to celebrate our party with our friends or family. And this is absolutely the right time to invite your customer celebrate his party or her party in your restaurant, right? Let's come us to celebrate your party. Here is your 30% of discount code, right? Something like that. When you made all the automations, you will get more responses from your customers and more repeatable visits. And you can see all the statistics on the dashboard by the number of created users, by the number of installed loyalty cards and by the retention rate. And uh, after that, after you properly onboarded your customer, you just need to keep track statistics and send statistics on monthly basis to your client and discuss some improvements with them. If you see the small numbers in the statistics, you can discuss about to run 
the different maybe setting, maybe second, maybe third loyalty card in addition to your existing one, right? To run A, B test inside a business. If you see the grid numbers and if your client happy to work with this strategy, beautiful. I highly recommend in this case to push your referral program. How you can do this uh, way? You can open the push settings, custom auto push, select the trigger, and uh, you can choose the customers who already collect a lot of stamps or rewards or bonus points on their loyalty cards. It means they already onboarded and they already active loyalty members in your loyalty program, right? For example, number of stamp reach it, um, let's say 20. It means uh, customer visit your business 20 times at least. And uh, you can send the message, uh, thanks for your loyalty uh welcome to share your loyalty card by referral link in the card description be rewarded be rewarded for for free because in this case when your customer invite uh, their friends or family they do not want to spend to get new stamps on the bonus point balance, right? Because we reward our customers by invitations. <clears throat> and you can create the same things, automate, because uh, no one wants to do these things manually, right? We just need to automate and forget about that. And uh, track the numbers in your account. Next one, uh, let me please tell you about the second option. We completely, I believe, discussed it, the main strategy that will be help you to get money up front in the first initial time to be profitable with our product and the next thing when you start receiving a lot of free trials from your landing page let me please show you how can you easily set up your landing page to get your prospects to get new free trials uh, from your product on your brand we automatically prepare actually this promo page for you you can find the link on this page in your agency account settings section white label section promo page branding and this is the link copy link address fill here and yeah here you can find your white label it landing promo page to get new customers on board it for classical 14 days free trial period without any credit cards to your account right when you start marketing campaigns with your use cases, case studies, testimonials, you will share this page with your pricing, payment getaway, and with your brand. Your clients will be sign up for a free trial, and uh, you will see all the customers in your reseller dashboard in sub-account section. New customer, new customer on the free trial period, and uh, yeah. You can get email address from our platform that you have a new trial on your white label product. What you can get, you can run the second strategy to get them on board. Like again, like a no brainer deal. What can you offer? We are working uh, right now like this. Uh, you can offer the free service setup during first 14 days for your client. But before you need to run discovery call and uh, qualify this lead. It's your qualified lead, sales qualified or not sales qualified. If it's not sales qualified lead, you can kindly offer to get to pay up front to get the settings. But if you see that this is maybe the big franchise chain, this is maybe a, the big client that's interesting to you, you can offer the free implementation during 14 days uh, and you can easily set up the service and run a couple of uh, onboarding calls with your potential client in this case and your main goal the same with the first like like in the first approach you need to issue at least a 30 free zero loyalty cards during the trial period for your customer for your client if they issue 30 loyalty cards you can expect that you have a payment already for the next month for the next quarter maybe for the next year is dependent on what the strategy you choose and how you plan to sell this product to your clients Next one, um, let me please tell you about the it, about your uh, invoice structure because right now we're talking mostly about the subscription cost. 
And obviously, you will charge your clients for the subscription. For example, 100 bucks if they paid annual one, 150 if they pay for a quarter, and uh, 200 per month, 199 if they paid month to month, for example. But usually, in our cases, uh, with our agencies, already existing agencies with white label, subscription cost usually takes only 30% from all invoice because 70% it should be your value added services like support fees, onboarding fees, success fees with your client. Let me please tell you about the great strategy, how you can play the game with your clients. You can set up with them some challenge on the first initial date. Like, um, thanks for choosing our product and start playing with us. I suggest you the same game. Uh, for example, if we can issue 1,000 loyalty cards, we will operate from our agency site and we will help you to achieve these numbers. If we issue together 1,000 loyalty cards by the end of this year, we will achieve additional 2,000 bucks like a monetary reward for our agency. Does it make sense? I mean, yeah. Why it makes sense? Because uh, what, what we mean by 1,000 loyalty cards, it means we can onboard 1,000 loyal and regular customers for your business, for your client, just even for four months. It's worth it. It's worth it to pay it because if clients understand how it works, install loyalty cards, they will show you immediately twice more in retention rate and plus 30 percent in average check. It's worth it anyway because your client will get this money back on bank account during two, three months, not more. But it will be the great start. And even if you achieve these numbers, if you issue loyalty thousands of loyalty cards, you can uh, you can forget about the cancellation of this product. You will have a lifetime client on your services and on your product. Maybe in future, let's imagine your client can cancel your services, value-added services like setup service fees. Your client can say, hi, I mean, thank you so much. I am totally clear for now. Works pretty well. Thank you for the integration. It works absolutely smoothly for now. I do not want to get additional support from you. Your client can churn your revenue, but cannot churn absolutely because your client will stay with you on your subscription cost for the service. It's impossible to switch from one provider to another because we will save the keys between the customer device, your brand, your account, and the Apple push notification server and Google Firebase server. These cards are not switchable, not replaceable, not movable. These cards will be works just in your account. This is why it will be your lifetime client. This is how it works. Let's, uh, again, uh, let's upsell your client. It, it, ju it just, it just works uh, like an anchor with your relationships with your client, not more. But obviously, you need to upsell your clients with value-added services. Next one. Uh, we have a couple of minutes. Let me please finish with the, some recommendations from my side. Please ask your clients anytime about the feedback. What they think about, what they thought, what the customer says about the loyalty program. Maybe they have some problems. Maybe they have some ideas. And improve. Make changes on initial stage. Be proactive with your clients in the first month mostly. But highly recommend to the first two, three months. Not more, because after that, your client will be clear and understand how it works and forget about your support. You can charge the money without any contribution after that. Next one. Um, collect cases, use cases, case studies, and moreover, testimonials in video format from your clients. If they are happy, if they issue, let's say, 150 loyalty cards and uh, get customers back on daily basis and see the great numbers in dashboard, make the screenshots, create the case studies, and uh, ask for the video testimonials. Build your brand, build your, build your promotion, and promote your case studies in social media, on your website, in your marketing campaigns. And this is the right time to run small marketing campaigns in local Facebook or Google Ads in your area, for example, to tell about the use case and case study. Let's say, hey, uh, do you want to know how the water grill achieved 1,000 loyal members just during first four, first four months? How they did it? Let's check our case studies. Next recommendation. Um, you can start email outreach 
when you have the first case studies and video testimonials again for the same companies you can say hey do you want to know how they achieve that let's jump on the call and discuss your use case and uh, your, your situation right and um, last recommendations a couple of last pers recommendations personally from me please never offer this service for free for your clients because they just give up for your offer and uh, do not do not will contribute in uh, this implementation you know loyalty program implementation it's uh, work that should be done from both sides from agency side and from the client side it cannot be completely done just only from your side you you, you need a little bit of client contribution here this is why you do not need to offer this product like a free, like it's inside in the bundle or something like that. They will just give up for that. Charge them money. Charge the real numbers of the money, not five bucks, but 500 bucks. Next one, do not work for a free. No time, do not work for a free. It doesn't make any sense. You can calculate, you, you know uh, what's the cost of your hour in your agency charge properly. It's, it's also your work. It's just additional revenue stream that you can get inside your agency, inside your offering, right? From this product. Upsell your clients. Don't, don't, don't afraid to do that. Don't, do not doubt think about this. Do not do underpricing. When you, feel, uh, when you think uh, that uh, maybe 15 bucks per month, it's enough for this product. Uh, maybe, maybe they do not want to pay 100 or 200 bucks. Let's imagine what, 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 what we mean about 200 bucks per month. It's revenue from one customer from the one visit for the restaurants. It's nothing for them, right? It's a no-brainer deal anyway. Even if you charge 500 bucks, it's also a no-brainer deal because it's, it's just for one month. It no, it's, it's not just one, for one day, right? We're working with the businesses, not with the persons, right? They have this money. Please charge. Please charge properly because I will pay attention for services that cost 100, 200, 300, but actually, I do not want to pay attention for services that cost me 9, 15, 12, 20 bucks per month because I'm looking for these services like for services for persons, not for businesses. Right. It's, I, I will skip this offer from my point of view personally. Commit with your customers on the results. Set up the games with your customers, challenges. If we can achieve something, we will get monetary reward. But in the other hand, do not promise anything. It not should be your necessary thing that you should to do, even you need to refund all the money. You know, it's, it's a loyalty. It's a marketing thing. You cannot, uh, you, you can't commit anything here because it's a market thing, right? Commit on the results, but do not promise these results as a guarantee results. This is all my recommendations for today. I hope it uh, it was helpful for you, first of all. Amit, do we have any uh, any interesting and important questions from the chat <clears throat> for now? I think uh, right now it is the one that we, uh, when we are able to start our SMS and email in within the Boomerang system. Okay, uh, you need to open the push notification section and uh, we will rename this section for the mailings and you can find the option to send SMS and email mailings using Twilio and the uh, mail gun connection connectors. And uh, one question from Kurt, what is the topic for the next week? Actually, we plan to discuss uh, next uh, things regarding integration with Go High Level. We will update you with the next topic really soon. Anybody else who would like to ask any question can come to directly, you know, on the mic as well. Thank you, guys. I want to say thank you for joining us today. I appreciate your time. I appreciate that you staying here with us. And uh, I believe it, it was helpful. Again, if you want to get one-to-one -one call with our sales team and uh, just clarify your strategies, just challenging your strategies, uh, please welcome. Feel free to con communicate with us, ask some questions, ask questions in community. Welcome to join our community in the Facebook. Share your experience, ask the questions. Let's stay in touch and achieve the great results with the clients and with the sales, of course.
Thank you, guys. Take care. Chat to you soon. See you next week. Same time, same place. Next Wednesday. Bye-bye. Take care.